Good evening. Um, I'm Mrs Stanya, Assistant Curriculum Leader of Maths. Um, just want to say thank you for taking the time out of your evening to join us today and get some details. Um, I'll try to keep it as brief as possible and avoid any sort of repetition. So, as you can see on the screen, we have a list of all of our maths teachers in our department at the moment. Uh, we've been very lucky, they're all very experienced and something we're doing is working very well indeed. Our results over the summer were fantastic. Um, as Miss Penny has alluded to already, you can find our long-term plans and our sort of scheme of work linked into the online website. So we've got year seven, year eight and year nine. Um, it's proving quite useful if anybody's been absent or if there's anybody who's looking maybe to get a tutor or anything like that. Um, it allows you to quite clearly see what we're covering and when we're expected to cover those particular topics. Um, math lessons in general, um, as Miss Penny's already said, we have a common sort of terms that we use. We have do now retrievals, we have try nows. Um, it's all about practice, practice, practice. Um, get to lessons on time. Uh, I think the slides are going a little bit too quick, to be honest. Um, all lessons have an emphasis on interactive teaching and we have a high expectation of pupils and teachers. Um, next one. So, how can you help us? This is what the evening's all about. So, make sure they get into school on time, uh, make sure they're prepared. Uh, they've got all the necessary equipment. I'll have a little bit more sort of in-depth chat in a minute about the calculator and what we're expecting your child to have. Um, and we want them to engage in lessons. So ask questions, get involved, make sure that they're actually actively participating in the lessons. So we can see on the slide there is mentioning a calculator. Now, the calculator that we recommend is a Casio Scientific. Um, Pictures are on the screen, um, along with the models that work. Um, if your child does not have a scientific calculator, they will be at a significant disadvantage. Um, we are aware, obviously, this year that with the wider world that there are a lot more things going on in lives at the moment, and we don't want anybody to miss out. If there is a reason, that, for whatever, for whatever the reason may be, that you cannot get a scientific calculator, then please get your child to either tell their maths teacher or contact us through school and we can try and sort something out um, but please just be aware that if we do lend your child a calculator it will be for in class only and if it's any sort of homework tasks or anything like that that require a calculator they'll be required to go to homework club they won't be able to take that calculator home um, they will use it for all five years of their school life so it's definitely something that if you can please get sorted um, and obviously contact the maths department if there is an issue now, the most important slide of the evening from my point of view, how can you help us? So, obviously, Miss Penny's already mentioned Satchel. Um, you can clearly see, and this should already be trickling down for all year groups, homework set in the maths department, who set it and what's expected. Um, please help us to support your child, and if there is any issues with homework, please get in touch with us as soon as possible. Um, we've got mid-stakes tests going on this week for years 7, 8 and 9. So by the end of next week, every child should have in their book some feedback already about their strengths and weaknesses from maths so far this half term. Knowledge organisers have also all gone out to all pupils. Um, if you've not seen it yet, they can keep it in their exercise book um, and they can then take it out if needed to for their homework. Um, useful resources. So Hegarty Maths, I know in maths we use this quite a lot for our homework and you can quite clearly see how your child is performing on those tasks. If you are not too sure about how to support your child with a Hegarty Maths task, there is a video that you can play that will tell them and talk them through all the examples to give them some sort of feedback. If you are a parent of a year eight or nine child, this grid on the right where it says maths assessment feedback, you will have seen already in your child's planner or exercise book from last year. If anybody still has their planner from last year, you will see this stuck in from their summer high stakes assessment. So if you're looking at how can I support my child, what are their areas of weaknesses, then you can see quite clearly on the right there, anything in red is anything that they're losing marks on. We also provide Hegarty Maths clip numbers down the side, 
So there's videos that they can watch, that they can have a little top up and a little bit of a review of what they've got wrong, really. Uh, TT Rockstars, if your child is particularly struggling with their times tables, then please encourage them to get involved with the rock, the rock battles that links into the Caritas and Veritas Awards as well. Um, there's Corbett Maths. All of these resources are easy to access and free. Um, and then that's about it, really. If there's any sort of questions, please forward them to me. Um, it's astania at heartforhigh.co.uk. And that's it, really. The only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.